For the last six years, I've co-taught a class called Journal and Sketchbook, in which I help guide writing students deeper into their stories by alternating between drawing activities and writing. The class began when my wife was teaching in Prague, where Kafka lived, and we discovered a book of his drawings. The most arresting are images like this, quick, minimal movements that convey the typical despairing mood of his fiction in just a few lines. Further investigation revealed that Kafka thought of studying art early in his life. He didn't, of course, but he drew constantly, as you can see if you read his diaries, which often include a drawing to heighten what he saw in his mind's eye. Many other writers have stepped over into the realm of visual art, some briefly, some for more extended stays. I find the whole subject of this cross-pollination fascinating, especially as I watch young students make similar discoveries to Kafka. Looking again at Kafka's sketches, I am struck by how these simple gestures, these zigzags of the wrist, contain an economy of mark-making that even the most experienced artist can learn something from. <laughs>